you heard me right. This plugin can turn any audio file into a playable synth preset. First of all, this is not a sponsored video. The plugin is called Micro Music and it's still being developed, but let's put it to the test. So the way it works is we drag an audio file in there, like part of a song, or a melody loop with some sound we like and it will take that audio file and generate a preset version for Vital, which is another free plugin similar to Serum. So that's excellent, but let's see if it actually works well. First, let's test it out with this part of a song from Animals by Martin Garrix and we sort of want to recreate this chord synth. So we're just going to drag this audio file into Micro Music. So let's just drag it in there and we can go to settings choose how many choices we want of the same preset pretty much. So let's do five and we can choose the AI that will do the work. I guess I'll go with the beta version and you set your preset folder. I have it set for vitals preset folder so we can open it in vital and just hit convert and it's converted. So now we can go and preview it. So go to vital and just go to our presets and here it is. We have five of them. So let's see how they sound. Okay, this one is very distorted. So we did a pretty good job at the sound, but it also added a huge distortion. But we can actually delete that because now we have the preset and we can edit it any way we want. So we can go here, check out the oscillators, the effects. And I think I'm just going to remove the distortion because as you can see, it, it shows bit crash, but we can just change it to hard clip. And now it's a lot closer to the original sound. So yeah, sounds pretty good considering we just dragged a part of the song into there and it changed it to this preset. It's pretty impressive. So let's try more examples. So another one here is this Iggy Azaela bass that you probably recognize. So I'm just going to play that bit because I don't want to get copyright strike. But that's it. Again, just drag it in and it's done. Now go to Vital, check your presets. You need to always reload this. And there we have it. This one. It got the right idea about the bass. It's not quite as punchy, but again, we can probably change that. So let's see the effects. I guess for now it's a good starting point for the preset. It's not quite there yet. Probably wanna increase the compressor. Now that is pretty accurate and we just tweaked two things, the distortion and the compressor. That's pretty exciting and compared to this. I guess we could just tweak it a little bit more, but it's definitely close enough. Okay, let's do a few more. I actually prepared the MIDI files on these ones so we can compare it to the actual song. So let's start with a classic, which is the Dead Mouse synth. So that's the synth we're gonna use. And let's see what it does. This time I'm actually going to do 10 presets and I'm going to use the alpha version, which I tested and I think it might work a little bit better. So let's do the dead mouse plug from right this second, drag it in, convert it. So let's see what presets it created. Let's just preview them on the keyboard. Okay, I kind of like this one. So let's hear it. Not bad at all, and we can, of course, edit it a little bit. Okay, so that's the Dead Mouse synth. I think it did a great job on this one, and just the fact that you can edit it as you please is just amazing. Now let's try another dead mouse synth. This time this one from some chords. Which is like a really deep synth with some distortion on it. So let's see how it does with this one. So convert and let's see what we got. Luckily we have multiple options because this one ain't it. So we can preview it.
Okay, this one is not as amazing, but it did get close to the sound and it did actually add that movement in the synth, as you can hear in the original, it like wobbles a little bit. Now let's give it a bit more complicated one because this is a synth from Avicii's song, Wake Me Up, but it's not just the synth, it's the whole song, the whole chorus of the song. So we have the guitars, we have the white noise, we have the drums, all in this part. Let's see if it can figure out that I won't delete. Let's not go easy on it. So we're going to convert it. And once again, let's preview it. Okay, so considering that I actually gave it something that has drums, guitars and other sounds, it did figure out the lead pretty well. This one might be even better. Damn, that's, that's incredible actually. This one is really good. I don't know how they do it, but that is pretty cool. Let's do another tricky sound from this song. So it's this one, I want the bass plug or whatever it is. So let's see how well it does here. Convert. It's pretty fast as well. Let's see what we got. Not bad. Let's hear it. Once again, pretty impressive. And I'm sure if we add the bass and stuff like that, it would sound a lot better. Now that is very good. Once you add more of the sounds from the song, you can really hear it fall into its place. This is free, remember. Okay, so that's the last sound we tried. If you wanna check it out, links are in the description below. Also, a huge sale on Christmas is on Staple Sounds. You can get all of my sample packs with one-time payment only, and you'll also be getting new sample packs every month for free forever. So go check it out. Both of the links are below, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.